Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwann and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Irene Sewer. She's Director of Field Development with Liberty Mutual and Sharon Daniels, President and CEO of Achieve Global. Welcome. Some people say that they get attracted by companies, but they leave managers. So what does Liberty do to make the managers nice? <laughs> so I believe that. I, I firmly believe that that people leave managers. They don't necessarily leave companies. And what's important at Liberty is managers are, are uh, training of managers and development of managers is top of mind for our leadership. So every manager goes through a number of management development programs that cover everything from you know, coaching skills to um, uh, financial, uh, you know, understanding of financials, how the company makes money, those kinds of things. So you, know, you are able as a manager to set the example for your people and also, one, another thing that's really important at Liberty Mutual is this critical uh, uh, focus on helping to move your people onward and upward. And when you can do that, when your folks know that you are interested in their well-being and their advancement, that makes them happy. So, Sharon, in this story, what I'm extracting here is that uh, Liberty Mutual the salesperson owns the customer, but the manager owns the salesperson. Um, so how do you transform that, that ownership concept uh, to the manager so that people don't turn over? When you are particularly a salesperson, your day is made every day by going out, producing revenue, making your quota. There are a lot of ways that you're evaluated that are very financially driven, much more so than most positions in an organization. And so the manager role is so important because it's more than just today going out and getting that dollar you know, of revenue in, whatever it is you're supposed to drive towards in terms of a quota. It's really about, do I have the skills that I need tomorrow and do that? And I think salespeople recognize inherently when somebody cares about them, when, um, when they want them to be successful, they're willing to take calls from them, to add value, to teach them. And, you know, I, I think the most important thing to do as an organization is to give the feedback to those leaders quickly to help them self-assess as well. Am I fitting into this organization? Am I doing the things that I need to do to help my salespeople be successful? And Irene's given some great examples of leaders who can do that. Irene, how do you deal with failure um, when you find a manager who doesn't do their job? The thing is, sometimes you know we don't see it as failure necessarily. Well, sometimes it is, right? I mean, people who are successful often fail more, right? Because they try more. But you know, maybe it's just a not the best fit. Maybe they're a terrific performer, not in this particular job. So our focus is, let's find the best fit for this individual. Perhaps it's not as a manager today, perhaps it's in some lateral position where they can be successful and still support the organization and, and perform well. So what would be a good uh, asset to look at from uh, you know, an ability or skill or talent perspective um, to hire somebody who creates a better customer experience? Well, I think um, looking at the skills around customer service, around listening, uh, responding, empathy, and those are often things that can come out in skill practice. They're things that you can test for and you can get a read on an individual. And what I'd say in this world, you have to have somebody that's really balanced on the sales and the service side because I think people don't want to just be sold to. They want to know that they're going to be serviced by you and supported throughout the whole life of their working with your organization. Shen, what would your customers say about your experience, um, experience dealing with your company? I think they would say that we are um, problem solvers, that we help them understand um, the business challenges that they have and find ways to help them improve their situation. Irene, do you agree? I definitely agree. There, I, you know, Achieve Global has been a terrific partner for us mm -hmm. and uh, a long, t a long term supporter of us and have on more than one occasion you know pointed out uh, pitfalls and things for for us to consider so it's it's been terrific for us do you want to add to that 
No, the other than having you know customers like that, and I think any organization will tell you that um, the kind of customers that help you be your very best is what we all strive to do. And I think that we feel that's a mutually beneficial relationship for both of us. Well, on that note, I'd like to invite everybody to go to libertymutual.com and uh, achieveglobal.com to learn more about those excellent companies. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.